Hey folks, it's Mr. Weber coming at you live from my garage. I've got a really nice demonstration of an introduction to magnetism that I'd like to show you, starting with a meter stick that's got six black strings hanging from it. On each black string, I'm going to suspend some ring magnets. I've got a whole stack of ring magnets here. And on each string, I'm just going to attach them to each other. They're gonna stick hanging from the string, hopefully. Moving them at different heights just to see how they behave. Good. And um, these really are magnets, so if I bring something metal like a pair of scissors up to them, they will attract. And um, if I bring some other magnets close to them, it causes them to uh, move and twirl. So um, the question is. What do these magnets do if I just let them come to rest? So it takes a little bit. But I'm going I'm to let them move around, and it's a little bit difficult to see how they're spinning, so I'm going to put a pen through the center of each ring so you can see the orientation of each magnet. So notice... Them in all different directions, spinning, but as they come to rest, they seem to all be resting in a parallel direction to each other. Notice that they all kind of want to go this way. There aren't any pens or magnets that are pointing this way. They're all pointing this way. And maybe that's a coincidence because of the way that the string was tied to the ruler. And so I'm going to twist the whole thing and see if they start to point in different directions when they're, uh, when they're connected to each other at a slightly different angle. So um, yeah, this one's still doing a little bit more twisting. This one's very stable. This one's very stable on the end. So uh, here we go. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Notice the direction that they point. Do they stick with the ruler or do they divert from the ruler? So before they were all pointing parallel to the ruler, but now they're starting to drift from the ruler, pointing anti-parallel. And now here we go, fully 90 degrees. Notice that all the pens now are pointing perpendicular to the ruler. Interesting. And as I continue to rotate, those pens are stubborn. This one here, sort of slowly choosing its direction. And then as I bring it back a full 180 degrees, they're pretty much back to their original orientation this way. And so what's going on? Why are these, why are these magnets insisting on pointing in this direction? And it's because these magnets, in the same way that they can be influenced by an outside magnetic field here, which can cause them to rotate, all of these magnets are being influenced by a really big and invisible outside magnetic field called the Earth's magnetic field. And so each of these is sensitive enough because they're free to twist that they can align with the Earth's magnetic field and they are all pointing to the north. So these are essentially very, very simple compasses. Inside every compass is a magnetized little piece of metal that aligns itself north-south with the Earth's magnetic field. And so this is a magnetic mobile, which is really just a bunch of hanging compasses.